Hello and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics Problem of the Week. This week the problem asks you to imagine a net of an open topped box formed by removing squares of side length A off of the corners of a large sheet that is a square of side length S. So in this video we're not going to imagine that, we're going to draw it up here. So um, you can see that just folding along Folding along these lines will give us an open top box, and we're looking for when the volume of this box is maximized. Um, so first, a useful thing to know would be the volume of the box. So um, so we need to know the length, the width, and the height. Multiply those three together, we get the volume. Of course, the uh, length and width make up the area of this base here, which we can deduce by knowing that these are symmetric um, or congruent squares, then this is going to be symmetric, so the length of the base is going to be s minus 2a. Of course, that's a square, so the volume is, is going to be s minus 2a whole squared times the height, height which is a. And expanding um, s minus 2a whole squared. And then, of course, distributing this a across uh, this quadratic. And this is the volume of the box based on what uh, the side length, which is uh, a of the square you choose to cut off out of the corners and the s. And what's really going to change the volume uh, is the, uh, what you choose for a. We're looking for the maximum, maximal strategy. So that's going to change it um, according to how you choose a. But just choosing s is just going to scale the volume. It's nothing really interesting going on. So in order to maximize this, we want to take the derivative with respect to a of this function. And this is a bit of calculus one um, with a little bit of uh, partial, uh, different, uh, partial differentials because we're just treating s as a constant even though it's technically a variable. We'll just think of it as a constant for now. So um, ignore the sounds of construction going on outside of our office right now. Um, but we now have the rate of change of the volume according to what A you have. So if you haven't taken calculus 1, then you won't know this. But uh, we're looking for when this is equal to 0. Because when it's equal to 0, we'll have an increasing uh, rate of change and then a decreasing rate of change and that maximum point is going to be where that's equal to zero. Um, of course there could be a minimum when this is equal to zero. We'll, we'll worry about that later. And lucky for us this factors pretty nicely. And we can say that uh, we have these two factors, so that's going to give us two distinct answers. And um, so we want to maximize uh, the volume of the box when we choose to cut um, uh, the, the corners off via squares of side length half s, those squares are going to take up the entire box. And we'd actually have no box to construct. We just have four corners that we took out of the box, that we took out of our material. So clearly the answer is 
a is equal to 1 6 s. Um, and we can do a double derivative test to make sure this is concave down. Um, or we can just plug this in, but um, I'll leave that to you guys to keep this video short, and it's not really important to uh, the problem solving part of this problem. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, stick around for a playlist for more problems of the week or to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also visit our website with that has books on calculus and stats and all, all sorts of math subjects. Thank you for watching and have a good day.